Well, among the U.S. states watching President Xi's visit to the U.S. closely is Idaho. It's one of the smallest U.S. states by population, but does big trade with China, the state's fourth largest export market. Mark New is in Idaho's capital, Boise, with more on the state's China connection. A third of U.S. potatoes come from the state of Idaho, a land of big spaces and few people. Second-generation potato farmer Doug Gross shows me how his farm plants potato seeds, which are actually two-ounce pieces of potato. Gross says nobody does it quite like Idaho. We have a rich volcanic soil. We have a great climate with warm days and cool nights throughout the summer that just work perfectly for potatoes. I don't think there's any doubt they are the best in the world. Gross Farms is a mid-sized operation that produces about 20.4 million kilograms of potatoes a year. About 10% of them will be sold as fresh ones, while the other 90% will become French fries. The second largest export market for Idaho's French fries is China. Exporting fresh potatoes to China is not allowed, but farmers like Gross hope positive trade relations will open doors. For us in Idaho, since we only have a million and a half people that live here, much of our ag production has to be shipped elsewhere. So any market, especially the Chinese market, where it's a developing market, the middle income is, is rising, we see that as a great consumer. Potato chips are big here, but to the surprise of many, computer chips are even bigger. Semiconductors and industrial equipment make up nearly 86% of Idaho's exports to China. The biggest player is Micron Technology, which has often been rumored as being an acquisition target for China's Tsinghua Group. What's your thought on whether Chinese companies should be able to come in and, and buy such companies? I like to see Idaho companies uh, stay Idaho companies, but as the governor of the state, uh, I'm not going to do inter anything to interrupt those peaceful and equal negotiations between willing buyers and willing sellers. That's not my place. Uh, but it wouldn't surprise me that good, aggressive Chinese companies or good, aggressive companies in any country wouldn't be taking a look and... Okay, these tractors are actually being run by satellite. The operator is not driving the tractor. Standing at the intersection of tech and the ag, Idaho looks to a future where the world knows the true value of what this small place is all about. Mark New, CGTN, Boise, Idaho.